So to get the software on your computer, you're going to want to uh, go into our course, go into the database resources and software block, and then you'll see a little section labeled software resources. And the very first link will take you to the SQL Server uh, downloads that are free. So you can either get the Express or the developer version. And those are free. So if you scroll down, you'll see uh, there's developer and there's Express. So what I downloaded on my home computer is uh, the developer version. And so once you click on download now, you will have to pick a location to download it to. And then you'll just save it. Uh, once it finishes downloading, you'll probably want to show it in the folder that you downloaded it in. And if you're downloading from Chrome, you actually can just click on this little arrow and, and do show in folder. If you're using a different browser, you may have to go into your folder system and find the folder. And then once you have opened the folder where you downloaded it to, you just right click and run as administrator. And I installed it using all of the defaults. And it does take a while to download and install. And once it's done, you will have the SQL Server program, but you don't have the application interface. And in order to do anything really with SQL Server, you really need that graphical interface. And that is what the SQL Server management system is. And so once you download and install uh, SQL Server itself, then you're going to want to download the SQL Server Management System. And if you have a current version of the SQL Server Management Studio, which I don't think any of you do, but if you have a current version, then you can just do the upgrade package. Okay? Otherwise, you are going to download the first one. And the process is, is very similar. Okay, this one is going to take a while to download. Uh, and the difference in downloading is that with SQL Server itself, uh, your down, it downloads quickly, but once you start the install process, it goes and retrieves a bunch of files. So the installation takes a long time. With the um, Management Studio, it's basically downloading the whole thing. So it takes longer to download, but the install goes quicker. So I've already uh, downloaded and installed both of these, but installing the SSMS is pretty much the same. You're going to want to go into the folder, right click and run it as an administrator. So once you have everything all installed, then you are going to want to launch the SSMS, SQL Server Management Studio. And you can just type in SSMS here. And what I've done with mine is I've actually uh, added it to my taskbar uh, just because I, I use it a lot because I teach this class <laughs> and it's easier to just add it to the taskbar and click on it than search for it every single time. Okay? But if you have it on the taskbar, you can click. Otherwise, you can do the search. But you do want to launch it. And it launched in the other window, so I'm going to try to pull this over in a minute here. Um, I have two monitors, so it went into the other monitor. But what you want for a connection is you just want it to use the Windows authentication. Uh, there's a couple different ways you can connect. You could actually create users and passwords in this. Uh, we aren't at that point, <laughs> so um, we're going to keep it simple, and you want to just 
connect using your Windows authentication, the server name should be the name of your computer. And then you can connect. And once you connect, you're going to see an interface that looks like this. And what we're going to be doing is adding some databases to our management studio so that in upcoming weeks, we can query the data, we can make changes to the data, and you can learn a lot more about SQL Server.